Hello everybody, welcome back to day four of the work day, or should I say day four of the work week. Kind of excited, today is going to be our first day we're going to purchase a new house and we're going to try flipping it. We have currently $41,523.59. And I believe that is within range of uh, purchasing our first home with a lot uh, available for refurbishing. So here's the office. It's starting to look much nicer. Starting to look more like an office, that is. Still got a lot to do. I redid the bathroom. It looks real nice in here. Yep, looks good. Except for the little glitch on the door here is hitting the... Probably not a good place for the sink, but I had some issues, as you may remember in my previous. So let's take a look at the houses. Let's see what's available here. Okay, this first house, it's called an abandoned house. They're asking $31,446.52. that will give us approximately $10,000 to refurbish it. I hope that's going to be enough. Let's click on that. You can see some pictures here. Looks like it's got some trees in the yard, which is real nice. Ooh, it looks pretty bad. Pretty dirty. A house from the 50, uh, 1950s with an original layout of the rooms for general re uh, renovation. A large plot. Nice. Okay, so 31446 Let's see if we can. Let's go ahead and buy this. Let's go to it. Let's go check it out. Okay, it says on the left you can see thumbnail of buyers. From time to time they will commit to your uh, or comment on your uh, auctions. Pay attention especially to those on the top. The higher they are, the more they're willing to pay for the house. Okay. Okay, to increase the house value you may take a part uh, Take a, take a part in the garden contest. Press enter to select the type you want to uh, the type you want to rate your garden. Okay. Okay, so here we go. Our first house. How exciting. Let's take a look at the outside first. I like the trees, very nice. Very nice that it has trees. It's got quite the yard. Very nice. Got a little bit of a back patio. I like that. It's got lots of weeds. We'll have to get rid of those. But yes, nice big trees. I like that. Very nice. So we have a lot of yard work to do, I see. And of course, we'll do that. We'll come out here and see if we can get this all cleaned up. Let's go take a look on the inside first though, see what we bought. Doesn't look like it's too dirty on the outside, but as you can see by the mini map, it's quite dirty on the inside. Okay, so let's take a look, see what we have, our new house. Okay, let's look around first. Let's go ahead and close the door. This looks like could be the living room. What's in here? We got a kitchen full of cockroaches. Okay, it's going to be quite the renovation here, I see. Quite the dirty bathroom with lots of cobwebs and dirt. Lovely, lovely. Okay. Quite the mess. Quite the mess in here. So I think uh, we can just get started. Uh, we now have $10,077 uh, to play with. Let's see if we can make a profit on this. Okay, let's get rid of that. That might be sellable. Let's use our selling tool. Uh, okay, so it won't let me do that. Okay, maybe I missed it. Okay, so let's uh, let's remove this stuff. The stuff that will be sellable will come up in green on the selling item. Like this couch is going to give us $50. We'll take it. 
nothing for that so let's just get rid of things let's clean out the area get rid of all the dirt and the bugs oh my goodness cockroaches just love it okay a few little dollars here let's go ahead and take out this 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 and this we're just going to take out everything and excuse my dog in the background anytime somebody uh, comes uh, along with a uh, dog walking they uh, my dog barks I took her to the park yesterday so she is good for right now except she's a little bored when mom's on the computer here okay okay so let's get rid of the cockroaches get rid of them get rid of them okay so we can come back to here let's go ahead and get rid of this let's get rid of this this and this okay let's go ahead and get rid of that as well so we pretty much cleaned out the place um, I think what I'd like to do is maybe take out this wall this is quite small in here so let's go ahead and sell that door let's go ahead and sell that this we could probably reuse this but we'll go ahead and sell it for now okay so let's get out the cleaning too and do a thorough cleaning let's do that first start in the bedroom here get things cleaned up and also want to check to okay clean 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 up here and here <clears throat> now my goal is to try to work just about 30 minutes um, it's a long day for most of us the 30 minutes so um, my last video was about an hour and a half and that was quite lengthy and uh, that's not really what I want to do let's go ahead and sell this guy get rid of him um, so like I say I want to try to keep the videos to uh, interesting length so that keep you from getting too bored okay so let's go ahead and clean in here get all this cleaned out clean the ceiling look at those ceilings oh my goodness what a mess clean these windows from cobwebs get all, rid of all the cobwebs in the dirt first okay get it cleaned up in here get the ceiling clean spider webs window sills mm -hmm. yes okay more dirt over here, down here. Let's get that. Mm -hmm. Over here. Mm -hmm. And as you can see on the mini map, it shows all the dirty spots. And so that's what we're going for first, is just to try to get it cleaned up as much as possible. And then we can come back. And uh, yes, one of my commenters are saying that it's quite dirty in here, and it is indeed. We're going to fix that get rid of all this dirt spider webs get rid of all those yep, no spider webs and no dirt on the ceiling yes mm -hmm. let's close this door for a second so I can get behind it get all the dirt cleaned up then we'll see what we have Looks like we have some dirt on the outside as well so we'll go outside and do some cleaning out there just want to clean up first okay looks like we have some dirt over here maybe up here mm -hmm. dirty under here Okay, looks like we have some dirt right over here. This all cleaned up real good. Cleaned up on top. Looking pretty good in here.
Okay, looking not bad. Okay, so let's go ahead and close that for now. Now eventually I'm going to replace this door. So uh, what we could do is just go ahead and go ahead and just go ahead and remove that for now. And that way we don't have to worry about coming in and out of it. Let's go ahead and get the spider webs in here and the ceiling quite dirty over here and here. Looks dirty there and there. Mm -hmm. Okay, puppy. Somebody walking around outside. Okay. Let's clean this up over here. Just cleaned up. Over here. Okay, looking pretty good. Still got some dirt here, it looks like, somewhere way over here. Okay, let's come back out here. Got a spider web there. Okay, so let's get some of these windows. <coughs> First thing I like to do is uh, get some curtains up because it makes the house look like it's lived in. And um, so I, I like just using the, um, the level or blinds the mini blinds. I like using those because it um, just looks like somebody is living with the windows covered. Very good. Let's get this one cleaned. Okay, so let's go ahead and Very good. This one as well. So yeah, a little uh, covering on the windows and maybe uh, one of those lights that come on automatically at night. You can set a timer on it so it looks like someone is in the house switching on lights and stuff. Kind of helps with a little, little bit of security. It's a good idea. So those are always the first things I like to do. Get these windows nice and clean. Boy, you can see out again. Looks like I got a little bit of spider web there. Let's go ahead and get that. Spider web's up there. Okay, clean down here. Okay, looks good. Okay, so I have the windows clean. So now what I want to do is go ahead and throw some coverings on those windows. First thing. Because, uh, like I said, it makes it look like the house is lived in. So let's go ahead and get that started. Get those in. Very good. We'll do another one over here. Buy that. Install that. We'll assemble it. Very good, because you can always paint uh, around them. If you get a little paint on them, you can always replace them. They're only <clears throat> not very expensive, $9, less than $10, so it's a uh, good price. Okay, let's go ahead and get you installed. And once the neighbors see that um, it's getting cleaned up, they'll see that it's not abandoned and somebody cares. Very good. Okay, so we have the windows covered in the living room. Very good. And even though they'll get dusty under construction, uh, like I said, I can always replace them. So let's go ahead and get rid of this guy as well. We don't need him right now. Okay, so let's see what we need. We want to get, uh, looks like we're going to replace this door as well, so we might as well go ahead and get some money for that. Let's go ahead and sell that. Some more dirt over here, some spider webs. Get those. Get all the dirt that we can out. We'll clean these windows as well. 
Let's see, it looks like I have some dirt or something over here, so we'll get that cleaned up. Mm -hmm. Okay, something here. I see it, but I don't see it. Let's see here, let's go like this, and maybe like this. There we go, we got it. Okay, so let's take a step outside and just go around the house and see if we can uh, do some cleaning out here. I think, uh, see, it wants me to spray. Okay, let's see what spraying does. Uh, is it going to let me do that? Garden hose. Does that allow me to clean? Yes, it does. Allows me to clean the house. Very good. So we can spray down the house. Don't need to use the uh, cleaning tool. I like that. Okay, what do we have on this side? Looks pretty clean on this side of the house. Let's go back here. Got some dirt up here. You can see I always tend to get pretty wet myself. Very good. Nice. Nice. Beautiful. All clean up here. Nice. Okay, let's get all the spider webs out. Very good. What's over here? Let's go over here. Clean all this part. Clean these over here. Looks like most of that is inside dirt. Very good. Let's go around the front here. Clean the front of the house up into the corners, along the windows, get the windows all cleaned up. Very good. Very good. Yep, yep. Get them all cleaned up. All cleaned up. Nice clean outside. Very good. Clean off the porch. Make sure the porch is nice and clean. Very good. And then we can also we could uh, pick up a few of these bushes here, or weeds. At least get the weeds out, if nothing else. Let's go ahead and do that. Get the weeds out. No weeds allowed. Okay. Neighbors will be happy about this. Now it may take me a few days to finish this house, so like I said, I want to keep the video to about 30 minutes. I have a, uh, a, a clock or a stopwatch on, but um, I may, depending on where we are in the video, go a little over. So, Okay, so but we'll try to get as much as we can this first day. Okay. Get all these weeds out. No weeds allowed. Mm -hmm. Spend some time cleaning up the yard. Mm -hmm. Get these all out. No weeds allowed. Sorry. This is what I need to do to my own yard. I'm going to mow later today. Okay. Yep, get rid of all of you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep, doing a pretty good sweep here. Thank goodness it doesn't take a whole lot to do this. Just a couple of clicks and we're done. Wish I could do this with my own weeds my house. Okay, looks like I got a new skill point. Okay. Yep. Okay, must be somebody walking down the street again. She's a barker dog. She likes to bark. It's usually just a uh, dog, a free roaming dog, or someone walking their dog. Sometimes just people walking down the street. Show. Now, what does that mean? Does that mean cut the tree? Oh my gosh, you can cut the tree down. 
I don't think I want to cut the tree down. Um, I love trees. Okay. Okay, looking pretty good. Cleaning up nicely. We have most of the uh, major weeds. These. Um, mm -hmm. Looks like we can change the sidewalks too. Oh my goodness. Okay. That's interesting. Okay, so do I see any more weeds or dirt on the outside? I don't believe I do. It's looking pretty darn clean out here. I love the trees in the backyard. Nice shade. Beautiful house. I mean, it's very cute. I may have to move into this one instead of selling it. That's the way I am. If I like a place, I like a place, you know. Plus, this one has a separate bedroom, which is nice. Because right now I don't have a bed. Uh, I think what I am going to do is put a couch down at the other place. Perhaps. Let's just check out any last minute weeds that I missed. Okay, it's looking pretty good on the outside, not looking bad on the inside. It's coming right along. Okay, so what I might like to do right now is let's go ahead and put a new front door on. Okay, now it looks like the front door is a different color, which is okay, but I almost think I'd like to go with a white. Of course, the Yeah, either I guess. So let's go ahead and let's get rid of this. Can we move this, remove it? Let's see. It's going to let me. No, it's not going to let me. There we go. Now we can do it. Let's go ahead and do that. First thing I want to do is put a, a new front door on. Is it allowing me to get rid of this bush? Yes, it is. It says I can sell it. Oh, I see. I can sell the bushes make money with them. Hmm, interesting. I'm going to keep them for right now. Okay, so let's see. Gardener, I'm going to upgrade to a, a large uh, 2019 trimmer. Nice. We got a trimmer coming, it looks like. Let's go back to the store. want to go to doors and windows. Okay, so we want a nice big front door here. Dark dark door with a knocker. That's kind of nice. I do like the dark. The white looks nice too, I think. Uh, hmm, decisions, decisions. What do I want to go with? Hmm. I think I'm going to keep it real clean and go with white. I'm going to buy now. Let's go ahead and install this. Got the knocker on the outside. That's good. Go ahead and place it, and let's take a look and see how that looks. Yeah, that looks nice. I like the white door. It's a nice, clean look. They can always paint it, uh, the new owners, if they want. And that will upgrade the outside a bit. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, so the next thing I think I want to do is, of course, I want to work on the bathroom first, because while I'm doing construction here, I'm going to want to probably use it myself. So, uh, to make it easier for me to be here, uh, I think I'm going to work on the bathroom first. And then we'll move our way out as we go. Let's go ahead. First thing we want to do is put a window uh, covering here because we want our privacy. Let everybody know that we're here. I'm going to use the same level ores. I don't really spend a lot of money on curtains or anything like that because I'm planning to sell the house. So I'm just going to go with the minimum now. But I do want to make the house secure. Plus, it allows the uh, new owners to move right in. They don't have to um, put up curtains right away. They can move in and, and uh, they're already um, in pri within privacy here. So. I may go ahead and clean the windows, however, because that'll really make it look better from the outside as well. Okay. Whew, that was a dirty window. All that grease and grime from kitchen, kitchen cooking. Okay, there we go. And then we want to go ahead and 
put a curtain up there. Handyman. Looks like I can do 20% uh, faster plastic, so let's do that. We'll upgrade to that. Looks like we have something over here as well. Negotiations. Increased chances of successful negotiations by 15%. We'll do that. We'll upgrade that. Okay. And then we're going to go to the store, buy another mini blind. We'll go ahead and put that up and get that assembled. Very good. So the house is becoming more private. Um, as I look around on the mini map, I don't see any black spots. Up in the upper right hand corner, you can see there's there's no uh, dirt or anything left, which is nice. Okay, so I think the next step would be, uh, let's go ahead and work on, I don't mind the arrangements of everything here, but I think the first thing I'm going to do, the tile is not bad on the floor, so we can keep the tile on the floor. Um, so I'm thinking we should probably redo the tile or the paint. I really do like the paint, so let's paint. I think the paint will be a little bit cheaper than, um, than tile, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Let's do walls. What color? You know me, I'm, I'm a favorite of blue for the bathroom. Um, maybe we should do something a little bit cleaner. How about uh, something a little lighter? There's Silver Glacier. Uh, might be nice. Steel Gray. Stay with a neutral, very neutral color so that the uh, uh, people coming in will... Um... Okay, so I'm thinking not the Steel Gray, but the... What was that? That was the uh, Forest Mist is kind of nice. Got a nice gray. I may save that for the living room. Let's go ahead and try this Silver Glacier. Let's try it. Let's just buy one. And let's try this. See how this is going to look. Yeah. A nice uh, light gray. Nothing too outstanding. Okay. You don't want to go with too many bright or out of the ordinary colors because uh, you want to please more palettes. I think that the uh, tenants can come in or the new owners can come in and put their colors in. And if you stick with a light color, they uh, won't have any problem with um, with covering it. So that's nice. Let's get the walls painted here and then we'll go ahead and start installing installing what we need to install. Do 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 do. Okay, so here we go. Getting the bathroom cleaned up. It was so good to get rid of those cockroaches. Oh, oh my goodness! And that tile is so ugly. This is going to be some kitchen to cover that's for sure it's not very big kitchen either so that's going to be a bit of a challenge okay and I have several people as you can see on the left side of the screen several people watching as I redo the bathroom okay very good it looks pretty good I think what I do want to do though is go ahead and let's match up this don't forget that little edge Okay, let's come this way. And as you can see, you can work around the leveler blinds or those uh, mini blinds. You can work around those, which is nice. Let's come in here. Let's go ahead and come up here, clean this up. Oh, much nicer. How, look how much cleaner that looks. Beautiful. Wow, what a difference. What a difference paint can make, huh? Okay, so it looks like we got all the paint spots. 
We're pretty good there. So let's go ahead and sell what's left. We might get a few dollars. Yeah, almost six dollars back. Okay, so what was this? This was, uh, is that the toilet? Yes, and the shower was over here. So the toilet was here. That's not a bad spot for the toilet. So yeah, the layout is still pretty good. So let's go ahead and first thing I want to do is put in the shower. So let's go back to bathrooms. We only have one choice on showers. So let's go ahead and we're going to install this here, I believe. I think that's the right directions. We're going to go ahead and assemble. Okay. Okay, looks like it's going to work okay. Okay, so we're going to go this direction with this, right? Go ahead and do that. Put the frame in, the glass walls. Looks like everything's working just fine. Everything's in the right location. Go ahead and assemble the shower, get it ready to go. In a small house like this, um, shower is probably pretty much the choice. Uh, putting in just a tub is not bad. I mean, because you can have a shower in a tub, but for this small, this small of a space, uh, I'm thinking this is the way to go. Probably won't please everybody, but they can always switch it out once they uh, move in. Okay, looks good there bottom part and it looks like we're done. E to open, let's try it. Yep, it's not bad. Hmm. Okay, so this door will work. That's good. At least we got this door because this door is going to be in place of the toilet. So not bad, but for not having much of a choice, that's going to be our choice. Okay, so let's go ahead and put in the toilet. Go back here to bathrooms, and I'm a favorite of this one here. I don't really like the look of these, but that's my my choice there. So let's go ahead and assemble that. Get them in. Get that and that, that and that, and we're done. And then we might also want to put in a roll. So let's go back. Bathrooms. Are they in here? They are. Take this one, buy one, and let's put it, how about if we put it back here and kind of up and out of the way. Right there looks like a good spot. Okay, coming right along. Beautiful. Okay, so next thing we're going to put a sink in. I kind of like that little sink that we uh, saw in previous videos, so let's take a look at those again bathroom and it was this sink right here. I kind of like that. I like the white and the white and so I'm thinking even the gray would be nice. Take a look at some of these. Yeah, I think I'm going to stick with the gray. Let's see what this other stuff does. Okay. That's kind of nice having the gray and the gray together. Let's see. Do I like that? I almost like that right there. Let's take that. Let's go ahead and assemble that. Let's get that on there before we make too much of a mess. Okay. Get that on there before we make too much of a mess. Okay. That and this. Okay. There we go. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now we got a mess to clean up, so let's do that. Let's take the mop. Can we clean that up with the mop? Yes, we can. Okay, yeah, that looks real nice. I like that a lot. I like it a lot. I do, I do. Very nice. Starting to come right along in here. Okay, so let's go out here, take a look. Very nice. The bathroom is looking quite nice. 
Okay, so I think what we'll do is also put in a mirror here. I believe those are under other. Let's come down to other and grab a mirror. I like the white frame. What does the gray look like? It's very dark. Is that gray? And beach white here. Mirror, mirror. I'm not sure what that means, so let's stick with white to be safe. Let's go ahead and flip that around. And we want to get that pretty centered. Low enough that it's uh, viewable up a little bit so it doesn't get too dirty. So I think that looks pretty good there. And then also I want to put in uh, some lamps. I like the little those little can lamps. So let's buy this one right here. Buy that. And we'll put that straight over top. Right about the middle there. I think that looks good. Let's take a look at what that's going to look like turned on. Nice! Ooh. Yes, looking very nice. And we have some light uh, in the house, which is nice. Look at that. That is absolutely lovely. Very cute. I don't really like how that faucet goes through the mirror, but I'm not going to worry about that. Very nice. I guess if I raised it a little bit, but then, then uh, it's nice having for those short people can be able to see themselves. So I'm just going to leave it at that. Very nice. And if they need a little table, they can put a little table right here. Put things on because they got a little bit of a shelving, but I like that it's small so you can move around in here. And of course, another nice little touch is just to put a plant in. I actually want to go this way and go to decorations. Um, let's see. Okay, so I think this one is my go-to choice. And we'll put this up here. Is he going to come up there for me? Come on, come on, come on up there. There he is. Okay, we'll put that right there. Put a little greenery in. Makes it look nice. Fabulous. Fabulous. Very nice. Okay, and then one more thing and maybe a little rug on the floor so that when you get out of the shower, you can have... Uh, whoops, I did the wrong wrong key there. Uh, I want to do a little rug on the floor, flooring. Uh, let's see, want to come down to a little round rug. Let's choose this one. Let's go with white. Let's buy that now. Very good. So we'll put that right about there. Very nice. Hey, it's looking pretty nice in there, I'd say. Would you come in? It's nice having the bathroom done because, uh, like I say, we're going to be using it. Uh, while we're renovating. Now what we should do is probably put a door on it so that um, dust and stuff, we can keep the dust out. So let's go back. Let's go back to doors. This time we're going to do an interior door. I like the white. So let's go ahead and do the white. We're going to buy one for right now. And let's see, is that going to go in right about there? I think so. Uh, it's not quite quite where I want it. Can I move it? I think I can. Can I move it? Hmm. Let's see, I don't think that I can move it. So what I'm going to do is, just a little bit on the outside here. I don't like that doesn't quite, it's not fitting correctly. So I might have to move that out just a little bit. E okay, so let's try that again. Can I get uh, anything for it? Yeah, I can. I'm going to lose a little money on that, but um, we're going to learn as we go. Okay, and I want to make sure that's in the frame. Okay, much better, much better. We've got to watch for that. Make sure that the uh, door sits in the frame. I like it. Doesn't uh, obstruct anything. Looking very nice in here, very nice. Mm -hmm. 
It's a small bathroom, but it works. Very nice. Lovely. Okay, so we got that part. So we have the new purchase of the house. We got uh, most of the windows. Still got some work to do in here. Uh, but we got the starting of um, getting the, uh, we got the bathroom complete. We got the coverings on the windows. Most of the windows washed except for the um, the bath or uh, the uh, bedroom. And then we got the outside picked from the weeds. We got that pretty much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave you here. And uh, hopefully you'll come back uh, to another day's work. And uh, we'll see you then tomorrow. See you then. Yeah.